everybody welcome to the video my name is Michelle and I was a teen I was a teenage mom 35 years ago I was a teenage mom I was pregnant when I was 16 years old it was my birthday was in, in April I turned 16 in April and I had my daughter in February I was a, going into my senior year of school and I completed high school, but I didn't go to school. I went to night school. I only needed two credits to graduate. So I went to night school and I did, I think English. And no, I did history at night school. And then I went to summer school that year. My mom, my mom got me and she was adamant about me getting my high school diploma, which I'm very thankful about that. I went to English in summer school. Now, mind you, I was just pregnant. I'm 16, just newly 16, waking up at 6 o'clock every morning, going to summer school. And I had morning sickness. I had morning sickness real bad. I would, thank God, the the my class was across from the bathroom because I was sick all the time and tired there were times I would just sleep through sleep through half the class and the teacher knew the teacher knew I was pregnant and I had I good grades in the class because it's not like I flunked English to have to take summer school I just needed the credit so I went to summer school that way I got married and at 16 I got married and had a baby in February. She actually leap year. Her birthday is February 29th, 1984. Now, my parents were distraught. When they found out I was pregnant, they were so disappointed. They were, I, I'm sure they went through a lot of emotions, but I knew they were not happy with me. I, I just knew they weren't happy with me. But let me tell you, the whole pregnancy, we kept thinking, oh, Michelle's pregnant. Oh, yeah, teenage pregnancy. Oh, Michelle's pregnant. Michelle's pregnant. But when the baby came, it was a different story. It was, oh, my gosh, look at that baby. She looked, she, she looked just like me when I was born. So my parents kind of, they, oh, they fell in love with her anyway. But once the baby came, it was all about the baby, you, you know, Oh, look at the baby. I came home from the hospital and my mom and dad visited often, often. My mom came over every day, every day, she, and I didn't mind at all. Every day, and she kept telling me, Michelle, don't leave her anywhere. So I was young, young and pregnant and, you know, a teenager. So she would say, Michelle, when you take her somewhere, don't leave her. Don't forget to bring her home. Uh, I wouldn't forget to bring my baby home, but I thought that was funny. So now, 35 years later, thir this is 35 years later, I, well, no, let's go back. I did graduate with my high school class. I was able to walk across the stage and get my diploma. My mom wouldn't allow me to bring my baby with me. She just said, no, you're not bringing her. So uh, my grandmother watched her or something, and I did, I did walk and get my diploma. So now, now 35 years later, what's it like? What is it like? My daughter is 35 years old, so she's older, and she has her own kids now. So not only do my parents get to enjoy my kids, they get to enjoy my grandkids. So now I'm 53. I think I'm 53. And I have grandkids. My oldest... Oh, good grief. My oldest I, grandchild just turned nine, eight or nine. Oh, God, I forget. I was just at her birthday party. Hold a minute. Hold a minute. Let me look. All right. I made a video of her birthday party. She just turned eight. I love you, Haley. She just turned eight. So my oldest granddaughter is eight, and my youngest is three. And my parents, I, I was talking with my mom the other day, and I said, well, you know, from all the distraught from me being pregnant so young, so young, 
now we can look back on it and it was okay it all worked out everything worked out you know I didn't forget my daughter my baby anywhere in fact she was just like my baby doll I was so young she was like a baby doll to me and I just I just fell in love with her like like you wouldn't can't imagine and I just cared for her in fact nobody else nobody was allowed to hold her but me if anybody would hold her other than me she screamed she um, she just my mom my mom was able to hold her but she just screamed so looking back from that distraught time till now it's okay my parents are both alive and I'm so thankful for that and they're able to enjoy my grandkids they're able to go to their birthday parties they're able to get on the floor and play with them they're able to read books they're 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 able and I am so thankful for that I am so thankful that my parents are still alive and they get to enjoy this experience with me so if you have a daughter that's pregnant or if you are pregnant yourself it's gonna work out it's gonna work out and your mom your mom's a young grandmother now and she'll get to see her grandkids grow up and maybe even her great-grandkids so all you young moms so out there finish high school do that finish high school make sure you get your diploma if you have to go to night school if you have to go to school in the summer while you're puking sick it can be done do it get your diploma and it'll be okay it will be okay all right well I'm gonna say bye here so like subscribe and come back for more who knows what I'm gonna film next Thank you.